So, I got a little bit of a fun video for you tonight. Lighthearted video. And this topic is five fragrances that are sure to be worn by good old Unc at the next family gathering, cookout, Labor Day jam, whatever you want to call it. Guarantee you keep on smelling my old Unc. You want to know what they are? Stay tuned. <laughs> What's going on everybody? It's your boy Trey Sense here and I got a sub that goes by the name of Jonathan Robinson who calls me Unc because I mentioned something about an uncle, everybody having that one uncle that shows up in the leisure suits with the matching top and bottom and the shoes on. Well, this video is for Jonathan and for those uncles out there who shows up at the cookout. This is five fragrances in my collection guaranteed to be worn by Unc at the cookout, the barbecue, bar mitzvah, graduation party, funeral, whatever occasion it is, the unk gotta put on some shoes, he pulling out these fragrances. It's five of them, and I do have them in order, no further ado, cause it ain't gonna be much of a review on them because y'all already know these. All right, you ready? Everybody got that one uncle that still think he young, you know what I'm saying, that, that, that be mispronouncing everything, he didn't bought him a Dodge Charger, you know, he think he young. He don't want to be like the other unks. He want to still smell good and young. What that uncle going to have on? The famous Aqua Di Joe. Y'all know what it is. You know what it smell like. It needs no introduction. That's the number five spot. The number four spot on the list. Guarantee. I guarantee you. You're going to smell this at the Labor Day cookout. Guaranteed. The funeral, the graduation, whatever it is. Whatever reason the unk got to put on his shoes. And for those of you who are not familiar with the term shoes, it's a Southern term, meaning it's a shoe that doesn't tie. Like a, we call them dress shoes, like Stacy Adams or something like that, or Steve Madden's. This fragrance at the number four spot is guaranteed to be smelled on every unk at the cookout. What holds down the number four spot? Juke. That's right, I may have a little unk in me because I didn't went through this bad boy. Yes, sir. It's one unk in every family. And if you're watching this video and you're trying to figure out, well, man, I ain't, I ain't got no unk like that. You're the unk. You're the one. If you if you sitting around scratching your head going, which one of my uncles is it? You, you the unk. The number three spot. And this has been worn by unks since this fragrance made its maiden journey into Fragcom many years ago before there was a Fragcom. <sighs> you could get it at Walmart, Kmart, any store that sold anything has sold this fragrance. What am I talking about you may ask? Needs no introduction. I'm trying to peek around the bottom y'all. This September, when you go to the cookout, sniff a couple unks. And you're going to find some Dracar on one of them. Guarantee. Needs no introduction, needs no description, because we all know a unk that's going to come into the cookout with 57 sprays of Dracar on him, and then he's going to go in about two hours, refresh himself with that bad boy right there. Now we get into the heavy hitters. We got two spots left. You may ask yourself, Trey, you didn't already cover Dracar, you didn't already cover Jupe and Aquadigia, what else unk going to pull out? I'm glad you asked. The next cookout family reunion, gathering, event, bar mitzvah, whatever you want to call it. Quisinero, ain't that what they, they is, man, well? Who water? Who waters with an S, because it's supposed to be an S on it. Every ump that you're going to pass by, you're going to pass by at least one ump that got this cool water on them. They're going to be dripping and draping in cool water. So much cool water going to be at the, at the get together, you're going to need a cup. That's the number two spot. So you may ask yourself, Trey, what is going to beat out cool water, Jacar, and Jute, and Aqua Dijon? I'm glad you asked. The 
number one fragrance that you're going to smell on every aunt that you pass at the next get together. Whether it's a, a fish fry, a fundraiser, whatever the event, the aunt got to put on something dressy. Number one fragrance that you're going to smell on aunt at that particular event is none other. That's right. Stop laughing. Curve. Every aunt at the cookout, the get together, is gonna be rocking some Liz Claiborne Curve. And they've been wearing that bad boy consistently since 1994, 1995, or 96. Whenever it hit the curve, unks all over the world have been rocking Liz Claiborne's Curve. That is it, folks. That has been five fragrances in my collection guaranteed to be smelled by unk. I guaranteed to be smelled on unk at the family reunion. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I hope everybody's having themselves a good Thursday, getting ready for the weekend. And I'm gonna get off here. Until next time, for Unc near you, Mr. Robinson, this one's for you. Peace.